I can play with Rain on the Rock again! Does he ever go out? Ask the Scarecrow. You smell so good now, boy. I had to let you guys know first. Everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, we're playing today. Kind of the reason why we couldn't play any of the other games, we can play Hammerfall Flat, Minecraft, and the punching game, but not the not the other game. Something wrong with Xbox. You mean the No, um Xbox has it to where if games take too long to load, the it rest literally of the game? Close them out and yeah, keep taking you can play that one. I need to fix your shirt. I just realized you have a hole in the seam at the arm. So yeah, in your guys. Armpit. Yeah, in your armpit. And guess what, guys? We gotta let it air dry, you know. Minecraft to play it today. Oh, where am I? Okay, they're playing a little bit of Minecraft before we start our school day. Oh, uh, where it are you? It is just. Ugh. Oh God. It's just a cold and nasty, rainy day. So. Everybody's wearing their cozy and clothes. The boys Minecraft. have. Yes, we're playing Minecraft until school. Tomorrow, guess what? What? We're gonna play the real cool again. Actually, you'll get to probably do that today. I'm just trying to make it cozy and nice in the house today because it is. It's just yucky out. And I put this on. So this is one of the other new scents that I got. I had gotten a sweet apple one, and that one was all right, but I didn't think it actually worked in the air as well. So these are, I think they're the Main Stays brand from Walmart. And I actually really like them because they're a little bit cheaper than like the Yankee Candle and stuff. And they've got great scents. But the Sweet Apple was just really, really light. Um, but this one is Pineapple Lily is the scent on this one. And this one smells really good. The mango one that I have told you guys about before, I think it was called Mango Passion or something. And then this Pineapple Lily one are my two favorites so far of the spring scents that are out. So this is really cool I'm today. I'm gonna cut them out. Easy Peasy has these lines every now and then that the kids have to practice. And today they're doing, they have these like little worm, we call them little worms because they have little heads on them. But today Aspen's actually getting to make these with them. All right. One more thing, and then you're done for the day. Okay? Okay, so I just gotta say, I love it when Aspen wears these headphones <laughs> that have the little microphone. Because he just reminds me of like a little pilot or something. You are so cute. He is watching a video called Racing Rodney, and it's all about the letter R. I can play with Rain on the Rock again! Wait, and it is in sand. That's right, it is. Okay, you ready? Go the land. And? Wait, and is in land too. Yes, and sand. Very good. Okay. So yesterday Zane played oh, a game a that was skip counting by threes, and this time oh. it's fours. But this one's harder because they have he has to get the bubble right above the correct treasure box so that the number will fall in. So this one's a little bit harder. It's challenging. Oh, yeah. You got it, yeah. yeah I can do that. This one's hard. You're doing it though. You're doing a good job. The chapter number. I thought we were on chapter fifty-eight. No, we're on page okay. fifty-eight. So I go and tell the so chapter. So he's reading ends. us the Wizard of Oz. The Guardian of the Gates was some time before the cowardly lion awakened, for he had lain among the poppies a long while, breathing and their deadly fragrance. Did I say that right? You did. We must journey on until we find the road of yellow brick again, said Dorothy, and then we can keep on the Emerald City. Keep on to the Emerald City. Greatly enjoying the walk through the soft, fresh grass. And it was not long before they reached the road of yellow brick. Once more, they could see fences. Dun, dun, dun. Thor spoke to them because of the great lion. Dun, dun, dun. Of Mr. Hat 
is the case, you may come in and I will give you some supper and a place to sleep. So they all entered the house. Oh wait, nobody's talking here. So they all entered the house. The man asked, Where are you all going? To the Emerald City, said Dorothy, to see the great eyes. Oh, indeed, exclaimed the man. Why? It is said that he never lets anyone come into his presence. Does he ever go out? Asked the scarecrow. Never. He sits day after day in the great throne room of his palace. And even though those who wait upon him do not see him face to face. Getting ready to tell a story of his job, but he's not sure if he can share it. So let's just say that one of the people that he works with knows somebody really cool. Yeah, so like, really he was like, cool. really? You know that person? But he doesn't want to say because he doesn't know if yeah. he can. He'll have to ask. If he can, then he'll tell you guys. But he brought everybody McDonald's well, tonight. Well, we didn't get pizza. No, pizza was an hour wait, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. You boys ready for karate? I'm ready to play some WWE. is out here to be my helper. T brought towels. And we are, yeah, you can hear the dogs. They have no idea what's going to happen. But it is raining like What? What? Duke, what? It is raining like crazy outside and they both smell so bad. So they're getting a bath. We're going to give them a bath in the sink and Ireland's going to help me. I don't think they're going to be very happy with us. Okay, boys. Who's first? In the tub. Here, Duker. not want a bath. Red didn't mind it once he started getting that his. Was... Duke is not a fan of getting a bath. Yeah. You smell so good now, boy. You smell so good. Okay, so I have to give you guys the good news first. 
so excited. So I told you that there was a lot of things going on with my writing and stuff like that. And I received a message through my Facebook tonight. And because the person wasn't friends with me, I didn't see it right away. But I happened to see a notification pop up that a name I didn't recognize had come up on my Facebook. And here it was from the lady that is going to be doing the audiobook of my very first book, the Pen Hollow Chronicles book one. So I am super excited and I just had to share that with you. These things are happening and it's really, really exciting for me. I have wanted the book to be in audio format for a very long time, especially for one of my family members who really struggles with reading that has been wanting to read my books or hear my books. So I'm really excited for this, you guys. This is just like another step in the right direction. So this is my original series that I've been working on, the Pen Hollow Chronicles. Um, this isn't the new series that I'm doing. So this is just one more thing. My first big dream for it was to obviously get it published and I didn't think that would ever happen and it did. My next big dream was to get it in print. I didn't think that would happen and it has finally happened and now it's going into audio format. So I have other dreams for these books and for this series, but right now these three things have happened with it and that is so exciting for me. And now I'm starting another journey on a new series and that's exciting too. So I'm just always happy to share these things with you guys. I was going to say exciting again and <laughs> excited again, but I didn't want to say it that many times. But it, it really is. It's very exciting for me to get to share these things with you. And this is just another step. So I had to let you guys know first.